I'm Bob West, and this is Studio 7 on YouTube West. And today, I got my Western hat on, that's right, because it's time to talk about a 1959 Western starring the Duke, John Wayne. This is Rio Bravo. Rio Bravo is directed by Howard Hawks. It stars John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson, a very tasty 22-year-old Angie Dickinson, Walter Brennan, Ward Braun, and John Russell. And this is one of the definitive movies of Wayne's career when he moved into that kind of laid back, straight talking, straight shooting movie with Howard Hawks. And he does a few of them like this where he's the sheriff protecting the town or the lone guy or the bad man protecting the good people for whatever reason it happens to be. And Rio Bravo is it. It is a six out of seven Western because it's not as great as some movies he's done, but it's so damn good that in 2017, it was put on the Western list by the Smithsonian, especially for the 1950s. And it has some of the best acting that you're ever gonna see from two individuals, number one being John Wayne, but number two being Dean Martin. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to spoil for you in this movie. First of all, Dean Martin does sing. And what happens in the Wayne movies of this time and other movies of the 60s is we start getting into that singing era where we get James Darren, we get Bobby Darren, we get Fabian, we get Ricky Nelson, we get Frankie Avalon, and these people will come in and occasionally do a song in a movie, it's a plug, and that helps promote their career on the radio, and of course it helps the movie. And in this case, Dean Martin's going to sing. But not only is Dean Martin going to sing, but Ricky Nelson's going to sing. And Ricky Nelson was a famous TV star. This Western is as good as any Robert Duvall movie, any Kevin Costner movie, any Clint Eastwood movie. And it's better because, again, these are the movies that Clint Eastwood or Robert Duvall and Kevin Costner grew up on. Wayne's performance is outstanding. You're going to notice a couple of things about John Wayne in these color movies as they come up. Howard Hawks, the movie who did three of them, um, are the famous salmon shirt, blue shirt scenes, wears a vest, simple cowboy. He doesn't write a lot in any of them. Mostly he has a lot of interaction. And it's the town itself that becomes the frame for Wayne. And it just is so darn good. And again, we go back to talking about a way the cast can bring together a movie, and that's what happens in this movie. And there's gonna be some people that for you uh, older folks like me, you're gonna notice in the background in this movie that are famous for being character actors of their own. Now, I wanna point out Angie Dickinson's legs. I wanna point out Dimitri Tompkin, because we have talked about this guy before as a person who writes the score for a movie. And his score kind of is the essence around the flower, the essence of the smell. So you have this beautiful rose that is this movie, and then you have the smell that goes with it, and that's the music that you're going to get in it. The colors are outstanding. It's a vivid movie. It is a long movie. I think it's 141 minutes, so that's two hours plus, but it's well worth every bit of its time that you're going to spend seeing Rio Bravo. The songs in the movie are great. They're worth it. It brings the camaraderie together. Ricky Nelson as the gun hand is fairly interesting. And my favorite character, of course, in this movie is Dean Martin, who plays a drunk, go figure. And his name is Dude. And Dean Martin established himself in a couple of Westerns, Five Card Stud, which I will be reviewing, and this one. But John Wayne, as we talked about a movie called El Dorado with Robert Mitchum, had that same balance with Mitchum that he has with Dean Martin. And that's what makes it so much fun. On a Western scale though, this is a must see movie. Again, Howard Hawks directed it. It's called Rio Bravo, 141 minutes, not rated. John Wayne, 1959, see this movie. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West on YouTube West. Thanks a lot.